Hello, everyone. Uh, we will once again discuss about the state minimization or the DFA state minimization. And uh, for this question, you can see that there are multiple final states. So we can solve this kind of the question also, wherein we have the multiple final states. So let's draw the transition table the first, because the transition tables are the backbone of the DFA state minimizations. So the state C, D, E are the final states. Uh, just mark and circle here, I'll encircle these states, C, D, E, and the transitions are V, C, A, D, E, F, E, F, E, F, and F, F. Now we'll first go for the zero equivalence. Now for going for the zero equivalence, it means that we have to Segregate the non final states and the final states. So the non final states are A, B, and F, and the final states are C, D, and E. So let's start with the one equivalence. Now, for one equivalence, I'll first take the pair of A and B. So I have to take the pairs in the same set. For example, we will take the pairs of A, B, and A, F, or the B, F, and then I'll take the pair, pairs of C, D, then C, E, and D, E, something like that. So A and B. So now you can see that A on 0 goes to B and B on 0 goes to A. And A, B belong to the same set. A on 1 go to C and B on 1 goes to D. And C and D are in the same set. Hence, I'll say that A, B are 1 equivalent. Now I'm taking the pair A, F. Now for AF, A on 0 go to B, F on 0 go to F. Then A on 1 goes to C and F on 1 goes to F. So B and F, are they in the same set? Yes, they are in the same set. C and F, are they in the same set? No, C belongs to another set and F belongs to the different set. So I'll say that the AF are not one equivalent. So by this, what we have got that A, B belong to the same set, but the F belongs to the different set. Now for C, D, E, I'll take a pair C, D. Let's check if they belong to the same set. So C on zero goes to E. D on zero also goes to E. Now C on one goes to F and D on one also goes to F. So E, E, they are same. Obviously, they will be in the same set. F, F are same. They will also be in the same set. So C, D are one equivalent. After this, I am taking another pair, C, E. So C on 0 goes to E. And E on 0 goes to E. Now C on 1 goes to F. And E on 1 also goes to F. So E, E are same, F, F are same. Obviously, they will be in the same set. So C, E are one equivalent. Now, what is the outcome of the one equivalent? Outcome of the one equivalent is that A, B belong to the same set. F is different. Then C, D, E belong to the same set. Now I will go for the two equivalents. Now for going to the two equivalents, Let's first check about A, B. So A on 0 goes to B, B on 0 goes to A. And A and B belong to the same set. A and C, sorry, A on 1 goes to C, and B on 1 goes to D, and C and D are in the same set. So I'll say that A, B are two equivalent. Now let's check about the C, D, E. So first I'll check for C, D. So C on 0 goes to E. C on 1, sorry, D on 1 goes to E. And then C on 1 goes to F. And D on 1 also goes to F. So obviously E and E, F and F, they will be in the same set. E, E will be in the same set. F, F will be in the same set. Hence I'll say that C, D are two equivalent. Checking it for the C E pair, 
Now C on zero goes to E and E on zero goes to E. The same one, obviously they will be in the same set. Now C on one goes to F and E on one also goes to F. They are same, obviously they will be in the same set. So I'll say that the C, E are also two equivalent. So I think that there is no change in between two equivalence and three equivalence. So outcome of two equivalence is A, B and then F and then C, D, E. Since the uh, outcome of one equivalence is same as the outcome of the two equivalence, it means that we have minimized the DFA. Let's draw the transition table for this. So here the A and B states will be combined and A will be, this will become the start state. The C, D, E states are combined. So like this and F state will be separate. Now, if I look at the original table, I have to delete this B entry. I have to delete this D entry. I have to delete this F entry. And I have to minimize it like this. So a B will be set to be A B. And C will be actually C D E. Now C D E, it goes to E means it goes to C D E. And F means it's a separate state. So F on 0 goes to F and F on 1 also goes to F. Here, C, D, E state will be final state because uh, the original DFA also was saying that the C, D, E is the final state. So let's draw the DFA for this. So A, B is the start state. On 0, it remains at 0. On 1, it goes to C, D, E, which is a final state. Now, C, D, E on 0 goes to C, D, E. C, D, E on 1 goes to F. F on 0 goes to itself and F on 1 also goes to itself. So this is the minimized DFA for the given DFA. So I hope it makes sense. We'll meet again with the next lecture and some more examples related to the DFA state minimization. Thanks for watching.